I've had quite a few requests to do an Underworld track. I'm attempting it and I must say, it's a toughie. So I normally say let's look at the samples, the synths and the secrets. But there aren't any samples used in this. It's basically a jam that's then been put together into a song. So it's been really challenging. I've had to get my guitar out, had to get my bass out, had to play some piano. But anyway, join me as I try my best to <laughs> uncover the secrets of this beautiful track. So we got two main things going on, the bass and the drums. The bass is fairly simple. And so what I did first of all, here's me trying to recreate the bass. My favorite sub. But we just want a bit more release on the amp envelope. Okay, so I'm gonna just record myself playing along. A fairly simple pattern and then I tried it with a guitar. So I afterwards put some reverb on it. So both together. I just want to say a quick thing about repetition because it would be so easy, like if I was making this tune, if I came up with that, I'd be very tempted to be like, okay, duplicate that. Maybe change this bar. Uh, maybe have that repeat and then... So I'd be tempted to make something, something like that. Which is kind of fine, but it, it loses that hypnotic quality. And it's so funny because with music, sometimes you want things to change. You don't want them to be boring, but then sometimes the repetition is exactly what you need. And I believe that is what this track needs and one of the reasons it's so good. It does change up a bit more later on, but for a good long while, we just have this actually a one bar loop. I've done it in two, but it's actually just one bar. Then we have the percussion and stuff. So I very much struggle with this. So listen to like the shakers. If we just high pass it. There's different layers of shakers. I can hear like a normal shaker very high in the. So we've got something in the left. To me, this sounds like a shaker pitched right down in a sampler, maybe a hardware sampler. What I did, I, I just recorded a shaker, my trusty Maraca. So it's quite quiet, but that's that one. Then with the same sample, I messed with the warping and got this. Pitched it down an octave. Then I made a shorter loop. I messed with the warping and I also added a lot of bit crushing to get this. And then a short delay which I think really should be panned the other side. And then I actually did another version, even more. Of course, I didn't get it bang on, but I got something of the flavor. So let's have a listen. Then we've got quite a simple kick. Not too heavy, cuts through the mix nicely. And then this little guitar riff, it's not that noticeable in the original. Actually is if it's high pass like that, you can hear it. Dun -dun -dun -dun. And this is what we got, obviously I corrected it a bit. So we just go straight into a nice groove. We don't really have an intro without the bass or anything, but it's great. We just drop straight into this hypnotic womb-like state and we stay there because it's nice. <laughs> and then we drop into the vocals. The lyrics of this, maybe you remember the first time you heard it because it's like one of those lyrics that is, <laughs> you would never predict 
the lyric. Yeah, it's really boring. It's just like, I love you, baby. No. Today I saw a man using an empty whiskey flask as a walkie-talkie. And it's just got this lovely stream of consciousness feel and you never know what the next word's going to be. And even when you've heard it a million times, it kind of doesn't get stale because it's just so weird. So for this one, I actually did some singing. I'm very insecure about my voice. I don't know if this will make it in the edit, but this is me singing. Today... I saw a mirror. It's actually double tracked just because I, d I didn't do a great job. So I did sing it twice. I put a bit of compression on it and a bit of reverb. So the original vocal. Today. It's got, it sounds like it's double tracked. It sounds like more than one voice. And the reverb's very interesting. Today. Here's my attempt. Today. Reverb's not quite right, and he's got like a breathier quality. Today, today, more or less in tune. I think it's I saw a mirror. I looked it up online and it said, Man, I haven't double checked it. Let me know if you know. It's like, I saw a mirror. <laughs> and then we get this really nice, just in the background, some keys, which I kind of did fairly badly. And this is me trying to do that. Today. So I'm using this lovely electric piano, the Pianet T. It's quite in the background this sound, so it's, it's fairly hard to hear. Let's have a listen to the original. Today, I saw a man. I've taken out too much of the bass. That's better. Maybe I should. I think it needs more reverb as well. So this reverb, I've got this sound here. I was listening and one of the ways I've been trying to figure out this track is by using this utility. And I actually put the width on ultra wide and that revealed a lot more reverb. So I thought, ah, it seems like they've that reverb send has got a widening effect on it. So I did that with this. I put a reverb, then I increased the width. And that does seem to be doing quite a nice little job of getting me a bit closer. Today, I saw a man using an empty it's like each word, the way it's sung as well. I, today I saw a man, today I saw a man using, what's he using? An empty, an empty what? Whiskey, whiskey what? Flask, okay. As a walkie talkie, <laughs> okay. <laughs> awesome. I really get the feeling that this is, this was a jam and they just, in the moment, they were all really feeling it. He might have had notes or he may have just freestyled it. Whiskey, flask. As a walkie talk. My vocal processing is terrible. Don't write in. I I know. <laughs> I'd love to be able to sing better. Today. So like these keys, some of it's quite close, some of it's not so close. It's just tricky, isn't it? Because you can hear it's quite buried in the mix and it's quite nice playing. So we've got the vocals continuing. So repeating the first part and then we've got with a flaming eight ball tattooed on his arm. It's just a great image, isn't it? It's very visual. But in terms of what the track's doing, we've got these keys repeated, but not a lot else. And we don't need flaming eight ball tattooed on his arm. Yeah, I don't dare to have my vocals that up in the mix. Flaming, flaming on his arm. Um. So that's that until we get to here. Then we get this cool noise. Ah, uh, there's a ding, ding. I just didn't really know where to start, to be honest. I think it's maybe a guitar chord pitched right up, but I couldn't do every sound. It's just an impossible mission. So I, d I didn't recreate that one, I'm afraid. Today. So we 
got this called do, 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 do. do you know what? I've got about roughly 60 billion samples and I don't have a single harmonica sample. So the closest I had was a harmonium. So what I did was I sampled a short bit of it in C. That basically. So I recorded that as MIDI, bounced it to audio, put it in a sampler. Then I added some glides. So I think that's what's going on in this. It's got that nice do it, do it, do it, do it. The sound is quite different, but the effect is basically the same, I would say. So I'm just using these on this setting, the overlapping notes create the glide. That's why it doesn't do it here. Oh, it does do it there. So that's basically that. Cool. We've got these keys happening again. So just listen to them on their own. So this is like the first clue that about the jam thing. So it's a fairly irregular. You can tell this has been jammed, can't you? Just by the playing that someone's riffing on, on an idea. And we've got this 12 bar loop. And this is like a bit of a theme in this track, as you'll see later on, that they've evidently jammed a lot and then taken these chunks that they liked and built it into a track. So that's the first evidence of that. So then I've got my little locator telling me about the weird noise. So this is another <laughs> thing that I just couldn't work out. I didn't know where to start to make this. It's so cool. And again, it's just, it could be anything. So there's a few more little bits I didn't get. So it's so minimal, isn't it? But it's just enough because what's there is so good. It all works so nicely together. And I really, my mix is just not touching it really. <laughs> No, that's not bad, but it's all right. And then we've got this, a few like little hat, hi-hat noises. I think they're panned to the right, so if I choose right. I'm sorry I didn't I didn't do those. I spent a long time already and I just need to get this video out this year. So we're just grooving along nicely. The harmonica's coming back. Have a little break with the kick no kick. And then we just repeat the vocals again. Today. So this is just really a repeat of what we had before. Then we drop out, but we never drop out of the bass. The bass is like a constant. It's the womb. We're never leaving the womb. Never! <laughs> Not for nine months, at least. So if you listen carefully, you can hear the, the soft shakers, which I think maybe was the source for all the rest of them. But there's a beautiful tone to that bass and there's a nice reverb on it. I kind of put a bit of reverb on mine, but... So it's just lush. We just have just the bass because that's what we love. We love the bass. And then we start with the, the rest of the jam stuff, so... Can you imagine trying to recreate that? So <laughs> I first was introduced to this track. I was in Scotland in a town called Aberfeldy and I bought in a charity shop the beach soundtrack for the drive home to the southwest. I was very pleasantly surprised by how good the soundtrack was. And especially this track came on. I'd never heard it before, not knowingly. It's just so listenable. You can just listen to this over and over, I find, and it just doesn't get boring. So this is what I did. If we put the utility and put it on the right channel, because 
those two guitar parts are pan hard right and left, which is helps us. So if I put that utility on and this EQ to get rid of the bass. <laughs> You can tell that's just, that's not, I don't think someone's written that as a solo. And then the other side is this. So this is me doing that. And then the other side, this is some of the crazy stuff I went through trying to get that. So that one I'll I won't try and play that edit because I can do that with the audio. <sighs> one take wonder. So again, you can see this is a six bar loop. This is actually two bars. But this is what we got basically. So if I take everything off. Oh, but it sounds so lush that one. It's played so much more nicely. It's in time. They fit together even though they're quite different. Then we have the beautiful strings, which really gave me a headache trying to get. That was a lot of work and, I, and I'm still not really happy. And I've just noticed I missed a few here. Beautiful chords. And this is what I got. So this isn't the same strings sound. I'm even tempted just to try and change it now. I mean, that sounds quite nice to me. I don't think it's very similar. That's as close as I could get with all this fiddling about. It's hard to hear as well because there's lots of other stuff going on. get an idea we've got this piano comes in and it, it kind of just copies this guitar part so that's why actually I just did melody to midi and tweaked it so this guitar part oh the tone is terrible but sounds like there's there's like fifths or another note in there but I couldn't quite work out might be something like that. Thirds. I select all. And then. Oh, so that's C sharp. Can you imagine trying to do this? It's very hard. Ah, at least I know what that is. That's an 808 clap.
And then there's this madness. Okay, so this piano is tricky. I'm not even going to try and play it. I'm just typing it in like a robot, which is not my preferred method, but there you go. <laughs> I mean, how lush is that? <laughs> that is, just, oh. <sighs> yeah, it's just so great because it's it's already great and then they just do this and maybe some people find it cheesy. For me, it's so uplifting, but it's not cheesy. It's just beautiful. So here we have the bass changing. Finally, we have this one bar loop and then we go down to the A sharp, doom, and then the F. So music theory people, please tell me, I, th I believe this is in, it's in C, but we've got this A sharp. Is it Lydia? It's not Lydian. Is it Dorian or something? Please let me know. I love to know that stuff. I always want to know more theory. Yeah, so what's going on? We've just got everything going on, really. We've got the kick back, the shakers back, the guitar riff back. We've got the new bass. We've got all this just keeping on going on, this nice guitars. And then we have more drums going on. So here we start to have a bit more hat, a few more hats. <laughs> some ride symbols here. So I gave up with this piano part and I just started to jam and it was it was a lot of fun and it was I felt like it was kind of in the spirit of the track. Yeah, and the bass changes up here. And you'll hear a few more little fills and things in this part of the track, which is really nice. And you have that cool vocal when you're giving. Is that that? Yeah, so that sounds like that MIDI, but maybe on the piano. So I didn't manage to do this, but I'm just going to copy that. we've got the vocals coming back and then we just have the last vocals i'm not even going to play mine because i couldn't sing it in the right key i'll mime it stuff makes me feel happy such a great ending to the tune we've got the word happy we've come to a final conclusion and the music's happy and we've got the word happy 
And then it just ends beautifully. We've got this lovely outro, which I'm afraid I also didn't really manage to recreate. We've basically got an extended string sound. Then we have the bass doing a few more simple patterns, which definitely sounds like a bass guitar. <laughs> I've got such a deep love for this track and I hope you enjoyed today. Consider joining my Patreon. Middle tier Patreons will get all of the samples I create for these videos I do. So for this one, it's kind of everything. So you'll get everything. You'll get the MIDI. You can have the MIDI of me jamming and the audio and everything basically. Yeah, so I don't get any ad revenue for these videos because I get copyright claims. As always, thanks so much for watching and I'll catch you in the next one.